Knuckles Show trailer just dropped today which came as a huge surprise to me as it was something that I expected to drop during the Super Bowl. This is something that I've been waiting for for a long time now. It's been one of my most anticipated projects since its announcement. I've been very curious if Paramount would be able to pull off a live action show based in the Sonic movie universe and if this trailer is any indication then yes. Yes, they certainly can. From the humor to the action, this show looks very promising for fans of the Sonic movie franchise, and I for one cannot wait for April 26th to dive back into this world. But till then, let's take a look at the trailer and break down everything that we can and theorize along the way. The trailer starts off by showing us clips from Sonic Movie 2, while Wade narrates over the footage, and of course as we learned months ago, Wade is going to be one of the main focal points of the show as Knuckles tries to train him to be a warrior. We also get a cool reference to the games as Knuckles runs past a goalpost and we see his face on it, which is a really fun nod and I'm hoping that there's going to be a few references like that throughout the course of the show that pull from the games. Wade asks Knuckles what he likes to do for fun and we get a shot of Knuckles in an elevator as he answers vengeance, which sets the tone for Knuckles' character growth which we're gonna get a lot of. After that, we see Knuckles and Wade in the car together giving our first look at their buddy cop dynamic. Then we see the man himself, Sonic, hanging out with Knuckles in his room, and it's kinda nice just seeing them chill. During the course of the second Sonic movie, Tom kept mentioning how he wanted Sonic to have friends who had his back, and now we're getting to see that to fruition. Now here's where things start to get interesting. We get a shot of Knuckles fighting someone who seems to have some sort of animal control shock device, and we can assume that this is Wade's bedroom. Now you might be asking, why can we assume that this is Wade's bedroom? Well, if you look in the background, we can see a poster that says Pistol Pete Whipple on it, featuring the actor Carrie Yules. Wade's last name is Whipple, so this is likely his brother, father, uncle, or some other relative of his. And this begs the question too, why is Knuckles under attack at Wade's place? I also wanted to mention, I thought it was fun to see that Wade had posters for like Kevin Costner's Robin Hood, the Total Recall movie from the 90s that had Arnold in it, as well as a Ren and Stimpy poster. I'm not sure what Knuckles Knuckles has against walls though because he sends the assailant through the wall of the house and we get a shot that's very reminiscent of Sonic Movie 2 when he does the same to the blue blur. We then cut to a shot of Sonic and Knuckles hanging out on the cliffside having what seems to be a heart to heart when Knuckles says that he only remains on earth because of the vow that he made which we saw in Sonic Movie 2 and this makes me think that during this show Knuckles might begin to feel homesick or like he doesn't belong. There's a character that appears later on in this trailer that plays into this theory of mine as well. Also Knuckles is a big fan of Cool Ranch Doritos. Who knew? Knuckles mentions that he made himself at home and we see that he transformed a section of Tom and Maddie's house into a tribal looking fighting pit where he was gonna have Ozzy fight the mailman. Obviously, Maddie isn't gonna let this slide and I think that she might end up coming down hard on Knuckles. This might upset him and lead to him feeling like he doesn't belong. His culture growing up was a lot different than the others, even Sonic's, so I think that he's gonna wind up struggling to feel at home and like he belongs. In a sense, he's almost like like Wolverine from the X-Men. Despite being allowed to stay at the X-Mansion where he had people who treated him like family, that wasn't what he was used to or really wanted. And often he would head off alone on his motorcycle in search of action. And just like Wolverine, we see Knuckles take off on his bike in search of a quest, of course wearing his cowboy hat from the OVA. With Knuckles possibly feeling like an outsider, I think that the pairing of him and Wade works amazingly. Because as we hear from Wade in this trailer, most people view him as a joke, and Knuckles might be the one person who can help him overcome that. Finally, we see the villain of the show, and if he looks pretty familiar to you, it's probably because he played the Hound in Game of Thrones. Here, he mentions that Knuckles is vulnerable without his friends, alluding to both Sonic and Tails, which has me wondering if we see a battle at the start of the show when all three are together. And just like the first Sonic movie where Robotnik was using Sonic's quills to power up his devices, it seems like the villains here have a ton of quills from Knuckles. I wonder if these were collected in the aftermath of the Battle of Green hills or if Knuckles will lose some during the course of the show. Either way, they have a ton and we see that this guy also has a bunch of Eggman tech to boot, and this is because he worked for Robotnik. In what capacity is unknown, but it's interesting to see more people who work with him other than just Stone. Also, now we know that Kid Cudi will be playing one of the villains in the show, which is a really cool role for him and it looks like he's having a lot of fun. So the whole time while watching the villains repurpose this Eggman tech, all that came to mind was the Vulture in Spider-Man 
and Homecoming. And in that movie, if I'm not mistaken, they were repurposing Chitauri tech from the Battle of New York. The whole vibe just seemed really similar to me. Anyways, we see that this guy is running a huge operation, and he's hired these two agents to bring Knuckles in. But why just Knuckles and not Sonic or Tails? Is it purely due to the fact that Knuckles is more isolated? I'm very curious as to why he only wants Knuckles. The next thing that we see is Knuckles and Wade at the bowling alley, and I feel like Wade came here because he wants to be good at bowling like his dad or brother and really try to prove himself. However, we see that the two are interrupted as the agents come by and they use a warp ring which is really crazy. I hope they show us how or where they got one, which it's possible that they just ended up taking them from Sonic or Knuckles. Either way, I still really want to know. And at this point, as Knuckles squares down with Kid Cudi, we get a really funny callback to the second movie when Sonic fought Knuckles for the first time. Then we get this shot of this insane mech that the main villain is fighting in, and I gotta say, I really dig the design of this thing. It's kind of like a mix of the Rhino Mech and Doc Ock. It looks like he's gonna give Knuckles a run for his money, and I think it's safe to assume that this takes place in one of the later episodes, as it appears that this is in Reno. Now, I have a little theory as to why Knuckles and Wade are in Reno to begin with, and it comes down to bowling. If you look at this shot when Knuckles is being grabbed, the building in the background says Bowling Stadium. Like I mentioned earlier, Wade is in some way related to a bowling pro, and it seems that Knuckles and Wade were either seeking out this family member at this event, or perhaps Wade was going to partake in the event to prove himself. Towards the final part of this trailer, we also get a hilarious scene with Wade riding on the back of Knuckles as he glides down the side of a mountain. Then in a blink and you'll miss it flash, we see another echidna. This is a character that I think is going to make a huge impact on Knuckles. Like I said, my theory is that Knuckles is going to in some way feel out of place, but it seems that at some point he's going to find more echidnas. This one in particular seems to be a manager at a bowling alley as we can see a ton of bowling shoes behind him. If we look at his name tag, we can see that this is Chief Pachukama, the very same from Sonic Adventure, who was the father of Tikal and invoked the wrath of chaos causing the Echidna clan to be taken out. Now, the lore in the movie universe is a lot different, and as far as we know, the owls are the cause of the Echidna's downfall. So, it's going to be very interesting to see what role he plays here. One thing I want to note is that Pachukama bears the same name as a god in Peru, who is the god of fire. Now, this could be important for a few reasons. So, the name of episode 4 is the Flames of Disaster, which in itself is a Sonic 06 reference, which is really cool. However, what I'm more interested in is this shot of Knuckles where he's shown with flaming fists. I'm curious if this chief is somehow going to be able to teach Knuckles to unlock this power. We then get a few fun shots, one of which is Sonic recording a TikTok and Knuckles playing on a VR headset, which is a sentence that I never thought I'd hear myself say, but here we are. Then we see some shots of Wade looking like James Bond and some fight scenes at the bowling tournament, and this shot here looks like Wade to me, and it seems like at some point he's gonna get one of the powered up gauntlets and release a huge energy blast. And here is a shot I love because I've been playing a lot of Sonic 06 recently and we see Knuckles use his drill attack towards the huge mech. Of course we get the logo which looks really cool and I love how it implements Knuckles, well, Knuckles, and we get a last look at the humor with this shot as Knuckles tries to train Wade. Overall, this trailer has me super excited if you can't tell already. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I've been anticipating this for a long time and honestly the trailer only got me even more excited. I think that Paramount has something special here and I can't wait to see more. We might get a new look at the Super Bowl so pay attention in the coming weeks as more about this show is sure to come out. But let me know in the comments what you think about this trailer. Did it get you excited for the Knuckles show? Let me know what you thought about my theories or if you have any of your own theories. Check out this video here for more Sonic breakdowns and lore and as always guys I wish you all the best. Take care. Peace.